The LabQuest viewer allows you to view and control a LabQuest screen right on a Windows or Macintosh computer. This is very handy in the classroom as you can display your LabQuest screen from a demo in the front of the class or maybe show one of your student group's LabQuests up for the whole class to see. You can also use the viewer to make screenshots for lab instructions, things like that. Uh, to connect your LabQuest to your computer and able to do that, you can either with the LabQuest 2 connect it with a USB cable or through wireless connectivity, or if you have an original LabQuest, you have to do it by Wi-Fi and you'll need a USB Wi-Fi dongle to do that. So today I have a LabQuest 2, and so I'm going to be connecting through the wireless connectivity. Right now I have this LabQuest connected to the same Wi-Fi network as my computer is, and so I'll go to the computer and launch my LabQuest viewer software. When I do that, I see a list of available lab quests and choose the one I want to see. Group 1 is the one I'm using right here, so I just say connect. And there it is. I have my lab quest screen displayed on the projector screen and on my computer. The same screen you're seeing in real time is on the lab quest too. So now we're ready to do a little experiment. So the LabQuest is connected to a motion detector that we have on the track with a cart. And I'm going to slide this cart up a little bit and uh, take some data. So I'm going to start data collection here on the LabQuest. Roll my cart. All right, and there's some very nice data. Let's go back to the interactive whiteboard to analyze this data. So I want to determine the acceleration of the cart on the track. To do that, I'm going to do a curve fit on the velocity graph. So I'm going to select part of the linear region of that graph. And as you can see, whatever I'm doing here, it's controlling the LabQuest screen in the same way. Under the Analyze menu, I'm going to do a curve fit on the velocity graph. Here's our data with my selection indicated. I'll choose a fit. We'll do linear. And now here's our statistics. So the, the M is the slope of the line, 0.19 meters per second squared is the acceleration of our cart on the ramp. And I'll say OK, and it plots our data for us. Now another nice feature of the LabQuest viewer is that you can look at more than one LabQuest at a time. So I've been looking at the LabQuest that I have running here. But student group number two across the room over there has been doing the exact same experiment and I want to show their data to the rest of the class. So I just go back to my LabQuest viewer software and launch another copy and this time I say I want to see group two's data. I'll connect to their data and see what they were doing. Now, they might come up here and present to the entire class uh, to tell us what they did with theirs. It looks fairly similar, but let's see what their acceleration of their cart was. Let me go ahead and select a region, do a curve fit on the velocity, and a linear fit. So their slope was 0.42 meters per second squared. That's their acceleration. So we probably know from that data that their track was at a steeper angle than mine was. And we can talk about the differences between those. So it's a really convenient way. You can go back and forth very easily. This was my data, group one. You can see that right here at the top of the window. And the other window is group two. Go back and forth and compare data from different groups. That's a very uh, good thing to do, especially in inquiry labs where you have different groups doing different things, talk about all the different data they're getting. So it's a very useful tool. The third thing that the LabQuest viewer is really nice for is taking screenshots. A lot of teachers, instructors want to make their own lab write-ups and you can grab a screenshot of instructions or the actual data if you want from a LabQuest. It's an easy way to take a little screenshot of it on your computer to insert into lab instructions. The really nice thing is that because LabQuest Viewer is an unlimited site license for your school or your college department, you can actually give it to all your students. So when they are doing their lab write-ups, they can take screenshots using the LabQuest Viewer and insert those into their lab reports to submit to you. So it's, uh, it's very handy in, in quite a few ways. The LabQuest Viewer allows you to do the demos, allows students to share their data, and allows you to do screenshots. I think it's a very important tool to have in your laboratory.